When an attacker approaches your system, he's probably going to look for certain openings or flaws in the security model that you've chosen to support. So let's take a look at some of those. First off, we have covert channels. A covert channel is a method to pass information that's not normally used for communication. A covert channel can be a timing channel or it can be a storage channel. Timing channels can alter the performance or timing of a system component in a predictable manner. A covert timing channel basically takes a particular system component that operates at a certain frequency or at a certain time. Perhaps there's a flushing routine that will flush buffers at a certain interval. By modifying the timing of that particular object, you can send messages based on the interval that has been modified. This is a very sophisticated mechanism, but it's used to bypass sophisticated controls. Remember that what the attacker in this case is trying to do is trying to either disclose unauthorized information or modify or make unauthorized modifications to secured information or secured data. Another type of covert channel could be a covert storage channel. This one is a little bit easier to understand in that a process can write data to a common storage area where another process can read it. Now, this is a particular type of covert channel that can be detected because you can isolate processes and stop this type of covert channel from occurring. However, unless you have a security level of B2 or above, you have not validated that these type of covert channels have yet been prohibited. So you want to be careful about allowing processes to write to other processes data areas or to basic common data areas because you might find out you have some covert channeling going on to pass secure information to an insecure or unsecured environment.